Bowman here at BW1.com giving you a walkthrough on how to install Windows Mobile 6.1 on your Verizon Wireless XV6800 and a mini review of some of the improvements in Windows Mobile 6.1. So let's get started. The first thing you'll need to do is to download the update from Verizon Wireless Support website which I'll provide the link to on my website at BW1.com and I think you just need to type in some verified information when you get to the Verizon Wireless website so to make sure it's a Verizon customer and you can download the update from there. The update downloads into a zip file which you need to extract the executable out of and put onto your desktop which we've already done right here. This will only work on a Windows machine so you need to make sure you have access to Windows XP or Windows Vista to um, be able to start the update process. Before you get started you want to make sure that you have all your information backed up because this is going to delete all the data that's currently on the device. So you want to make sure that if you go watch my previous video on pin backup, you can back up all your personal information through that handy tool that I showed you on there. You can also watch my drag and drop video as well to show you how to um, drag data between the device and your PC. But you want to make sure you have all your information backed up before you begin the update process. Once you have done that, then you want to plug in the phone and you want to make sure it has a connection with ActiveSync if you're running Windows XP or Windows Mobile Device Center if you're running in Windows Vista. Once you have a connection, you want to start the update price process by double clicking the executable. And from here, you want to follow each prompt on the screen. It's pretty much a next, 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 next type process. You're going to see the screen a few times, it's going to be verifying information on your device. Sometimes it's really quick, sometimes it can take a couple of minutes before it, it finishes. So you just have to be patient with it. Okay, once that's verified, it'll pop up. It'll warn you again that you want to make sure you back up all your data because it will delete all the information off of it. You can view the readme right here if you want to. But you have to make sure you click this checkbox and understand. And caution indicated above and review the readme. Once you've done that, you click next. And you need to make sure you have, like I said, a connection with ActiveSync or Windows Mobile Device Center. Make sure there's no your standby and hibernation mode is uh, turned off on the PC and you want to make sure the main battery has a charge of greater than 50%. And once you verified all that, you click the checkbox here and you want, don't want to launch anything while this is updating that, that could possibly disturb the process because you're going to end up bricking your phone if you do. And you click next to continue, start to verify some more information and you want to click update and this usually will say a different number but since I've already done this I'm just updating over the same update over again you want to click next and it's going to let you know what's going to happen during the update say it takes about 10 minutes or so which is pretty accurate and when you click next the update process begins this progression bar pops up and then you'll notice that your phone will have a multicolored screen on it and in bootloader mode once it does that a progression progression screen will also show up on the phone too and it kind of matches up to the speed but once it hits 100% the device is completely um, it has been has completed the update. Also, to add. You might notice this might freeze a couple times. The pressure bar doesn't look like it's going anywhere. It's still going. It just takes it just takes a few minutes for it to really go. So it, it can look like it's freezing, but it's not really. So you just have to be patient with it.
Okay, once that's completed, your phone will reboot and we'll go into the factory reset, reset process like you first set up the phone. So I'm going to go through the quick setup process and then we're going to go over a quick mini review of the improvements of Windows Mobile 6.1 on the uh, XV6800 from Verizon Wireless. Okay, now the device update is completed, let's go through Windows Mobile 6.1 and kind of give you an idea of the improvements here. So a few quick things. First thing, and, and besides OS itself being upgraded to Windows Mobile 6.1, it's also added EVDO or Vision A compatibility, so you get the even even faster EVDO versus the old one, which is Revision Zero. Revision A gives you a faster upload speed and download speed as well, so that's a nice improvement. And they've also updated their messenger client right here, so now it supports uh, threaded text messaging, NMMS messaging, SMS, and MS. MMS boxes are now one and the same in the new update and you can have threaded text messaging as you'll see here so of course more like a chat versus having individual text for each uh, conversation each text that you send out so it goes more like a conversation you can actually shut that off in the settings too if you want to go back to the classic mode simply do that you just go into settings Go into system, you see right here text messaging. Just click on that, threaded classic, whichever one you want to choose. And the next thing they've added right up here is a nice little HTC task manager. You've seen the Bowman pack, I've, I've already given you guys this update, this um, updated application. Now they just built it into the ROM itself, which allows you to manage the memory a lot better in the system. And um, overall, the memory usage is a lot better than what it was before. And just like in the old, just like in the one I put in the Bowman pack, you can exclude programs. You can change what each button does. You can change the way it sorts and such. Overall speed is greatly improved versus Windows Mobile 6.0. 6.1 is definitely an improvement. Um, they've also added added that you can now use VZ Navigator, so now it's got assisted GPS capabilities as well. But you have to use a VZ um, Navigator for that, which you can download through the web through the um, web browser on the device. It also um, improves so you can now you can store up to 16 gigabytes of memory on a micro SD card so now you can use up to 16 gigs on a device if you want to store your music, movies, whatever you want to, pictures, whatever you want to put on the phone itself. So overall the Windows Mobile 6.1 is a great improvement over 6.0. It's not fast and it's not something that's earth shattering but it's definitely something I recommend definitely doing and this tutorial will surely help you out in doing so. So, this is the Windows Mobile 6.1 update on your XV6800, the walkthrough and review from Bowman at BW1.com reminding you to live your tech world in high definition.